Today I'm going to show you how you can easily turn this into this. Hey, welcome back to Addicted to Gear, the channel where we help all our gear addicted friends out there get the fix that they need. Today we're talking about an easy mod that you can make on your guitars to give them a little bit more flair and pizzazz, especially if you're getting tired of the old look. I picked up this Kramer Beretta Special not long ago, and it's really a cool guitar, but I'm not really crazy about the paint job on it. I mean, it's a really in-between color. It's not really red. It's not really pink. It's kind of in the salmon tones. So it's not for everyone, right? So if you have a guitar like this in your collection and you're kind of on the fence as to whether or not you should keep it, mod it, sell it, Today I'm going to show you something that you can do that's not very expensive and could change the look of your guitar completely. So the really cool thing about this mod that I'm going to share with you today is A, it's inexpensive, B, it's easy to do and you can do this at home. You don't have to send your guitar out to, to have this guitar mod done. And C, which is most important for me, it is not necessarily permanent. You could keep this as long as you wish or remove it and return your guitar back to stock. So if you eventually want to sell your guitar and you want to put, bring it back to the original format, you can. And what I'm talking about here is a product made from Axe Wrap. And it's right here in this little tube. It's all right here. And what these are, are decals that you can actually apply to your guitars. I'll open up this and I haven't ever done a mod like this before guys. So everything that I'm going to be doing on this video is for the first time and you're going to be privy to the process and uh, seeing it for the first time just like me. I was told that the instructions for basically applying these wraps to your guitar are all available on their website. There's a PDF that you can download as well as some very clear photos. And I believe they also have some videos showing how this is done. So for this mod, I decided to go with something a little bit more 80s for this guitar and go with a satchel pattern. And as you can see, I have not one, but two sheets, one for the back, one for the front, very vibrant colors. I want to see how well it actually matches the paint of the guitar, because that, you know, is something that we don't always see when we buy something like this online. So I'm just going to put that here and just show you how well it matches. So I would say that it's pretty close, pretty darn close. Um, I'm not going to say it's a hundred percent match, but it's pretty darn close to me. And so we're going to be taking this guitar apart because you have to take it apart in order to put this, uh, these decals on your guitar. And we're going to apply the decals to the body and put everything back together again and see how it turned out. Now, if you're not necessarily crazy about these 80s patterns, they have a host of other patterns you could choose from. And I believe you can actually even send them a graphic of your choice uh, and then they will be able to print them on the vinyl for you and send that to you, which is really cool. If you've watched any of my previous videos where I actually painted my guitars, you'll know what a laborious process that is. You really need to spend a lot of time an effort doing that. And if you make a mistake, you have to start all over again, which is not a whole lot of fun. With these wraps, you can go crazy. You can basically change the look of your guitar over and over again. And then, you know, when you get tired of it or when it gets worn out, you can just peel it off and change your guitar again, which is really, really cool. So I think it's going to be a really interesting thing to do to this guitar. And I want to get started and apply them so I can actually show you what they look like. So you want to start by removing the strings, the bridge, the knobs and pickups so you have the best opportunity to apply the vinyl without any obstructions in your way. The next thing I did was remove the cover from the back side of the guitar as well so that we can eventually cut around the opening and do a really clean job of the vinyl application. At this point, I moved over to a table so I could trace the outline of the guitar onto the back of the vinyl. 
And you want to do this on a nice flat surface and you want to do it twice, once for the front and once for the back of the guitar. I also thought it helped to actually draw a center line on the sheet for alignment purposes as it just gives you better perspective. Now at this point I carefully and slowly cut out the vinyl along the tracing line that I had made and did a dry fit on the guitar body to make sure everything fit properly before moving to the next step. Once the vinyl was aligned I taped it down in place so it would not accidentally shift on me while I peeled back the vinyl and pressed it down with using a credit card. Now you want to pay close attention while you're doing this to make sure you're not getting any bubbles or creases in the vinyl and if you do happen to get a crease just lift the vinyl back up again readjust and press it down. Now once both the front and back vinyl were applied I cut around the openings of the pickup cavity the neck pocket and the control cavity very carefully with my exacto to do a really clean job. And once all this was done I just reassembled the guitar and was ready to rock and roll. So what are my final thoughts on this mod? Well, first of all, it's a lot easier than I thought, and it sure beats the pants off of doing a refinish on your guitar. Um, all you really need to do is take your time, follow the instructions, don't rush it, and it'll turn out great. Now, if you have a guitar that is a standard color, like red, black, white, those type of guitars are super easy to match. And if you have a blemish or a chip or a sticker or somebody perhaps put some unsightly artwork on your guitar before you ended up buying it and you're fed up of seeing it, well, this is an easy way to hide all of that and make it go away. And the best part is that it is 100% reversible. So if something goes out of style, like tiger stripes, for example, well, you can easily peel them off and put something else. That's the beauty of it. So if you're interested in perhaps checking out some of these uh, wraps for yourself, just go to axewrap.com. I'll put the link down below. They have a really wide selection of artwork that you can choose from. So I'm sure you'll be able to find something that you like. And if you're looking for something extra specific or extra custom, perhaps you have artwork that you want to put on your own guitar that you created. All you have to do, send it to them, ask them to print it. It'll get to you in a couple of days and within, I would say, an hour, you'd be able to put that on your guitar and your guitar is ready to go for the next gig. It's super. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoy the content that we're bringing you on Addicted to Gear. I hope you find value in it. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel. Stay tuned. Keep rocking. More great stuff coming your way.